Hope everyone is doing well. If you haven't been to the channel before, my name is EQ and welcome to Stonkaholics. We're gonna jump right into it today, skipping the intro and everything. If you are in our Discord group, you know that we mentioned the market cap and what I think is gonna be happening with the market cap. And last night I also dropped this little hint at DOT. So we're gonna be going over this today because I think it's pretty important. And another project that is in a very great buy position that's just in a different point in its development. So right off the bat here with DOT, we can put a Fib retracement from the major SR on this move. Now the reason why I didn't map out these other moves is because it didn't fully go through. And when it did the retrace, it did 100% so it fell out of the movement. So you can see that price came down and tested the 6180 multiple times, three times. We got two support holds recently, and now we're getting a price hold on the EMAs. You see we got nowhere near the 200 EMA, which is good. We still stayed in bullish throughout that whole thing. And you can see that we held support on the 50 RSI, and we are turning upwards from the oversold area on the Sto RSI. Now the other thing you can throw on here is the consolidation channel which would be from here to here. So we had our little false breakouts, which didn't hold support, came right back down. My areas of interest for support hold going into the next impulse move are gonna be at this $43 range. And then the other one is gonna be up here at the 45, almost $46 range. This little area is gonna be an area of interest for me. It looks like this could be a nice little consolidation area before it breaks out into the next impulse move. Going down to the four hour chart, we can see that we've already had a choppy little movement here and this is where it, it wasn't able to break previously. So this is definitely an area of interest and you can see price right now is currently sitting within that channel as well. The Sto is oversold right now on the four hour chart. So we're looking for this to come back down, hopefully hold support on the 50 RSI and get a little more room in the Sto RSI to grow. So it makes sense that we get a little price dip down to the 43 for short term dip. When this move does fulfill based on previous move, we're looking at TP1 at $48, TP2 at $57, and TP3 at $66. Keep in mind, these are all short-term moves. Now, if we want to take a look at the weekly to see what's going on on a long-term, we are just pulling out of the oversold area. And you can see that we've been sitting in this consolidation spot for weeks now, finally getting a potential breakout. And if you want to go on a weekly chart based on a long-term, you can see here we had down weeks. So there was, you know, two, three weeks here where you stalled out. Keep that in mind when you're looking at this long-term chart, but on a long-term scale, we can get $277 before we see our next retracement or big major consolidation. So DOT is looking very good. We're just waiting right now for this confirmation. Once you get the confirmation, not financial advice, but if I was trying to find a buy-in area, it would be once confirmation is found and we get a confirmed impulse going up. Moving on to the next project, it's gonna be BTT or BitTorrent. If you don't know anything about this one yet or haven't heard of it, it is a major partner with Facebook and Twitch and a bunch of other big companies. They have a lot of real world use cases. And you can see from this impulse that we had last time, it was a huge boom. The weekly wasn't oversold. So since we're at the weekly now, we can see that the stow is pulling down into the oversold area. Looking to turn back up. We've been sitting down at the 7860 for a while now. It hasn't done really any movement for the last six, seven weeks. So ideally we're looking for this to start making a move back up. Going down into a shorter time frame, you can see that we have a trend line here. We're looking for price to break this trend area. Let's move this a little bit. So if price can break out of this, essentially a descending triangle and break out on the right side and start holding support over here, we can get our first potential big move. With BitTorrent, we're currently at 0.006. Just to test the previous all time high is 0.013. So more than a two times move just to test all time high. And if we were gonna go all the way, let's say to TP3, that's a 0 0.023, so almost a four times move. If well, this was to fully max out its move based on the previous impulse, you can see the four hour is oversold on BTT also, so we can see a minor retracement one more time to hold the support before we get a channel break. In mind though, this can't break down and continue this trend downwards if it's not ready yet. But all in all, it's been holding at the 78 pretty well, so I think it's gonna skip over and start making an impulse move coming soon. And with both of these predictions, it lasts in each of their ecosystems. So anything under the DOT ecosystem, so Polka Markets, Polka Starter, Kylan, any of those are gonna be looking really good these next couple weeks. The utilities are gonna blow up in the ecosystem. And when you're looking at BTT, technically it is a utility of Tron or TRX. 
the Tron and TRX chart looks very similar to the BTT chart and it also looks really similar to the Wink or Wink Link chart. So anything in the Tron ecosystem is also looking ready to boom. There is one other ecosystem that we talked about in the Discord group that is ready to go. It hasn't moved in the last couple months, but if it does move, it can make massive gains like last time. So also don't forget to check out the Discord group. The public group is only $1. It's less than some apps on your phone, and hopefully you'll be making more than $1 in a month, so it's gonna pay itself off. If you wanted to get into our VIP group, our $5 group is sold out. We're currently at our $10 group. There's 49 spots left at the $10 group. Once those sell out, price will go up to $15 a month and so on and so forth. So you definitely want to get in while it's cheap and make it worthwhile and don't let that FOMO kick in when you want to join the group later and it's twice the price per month. And that's going to about wrap up this video. Catch you guys on the next one.